Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've had a different composer to feature and believe me, one does not run out of composers, especially composers who have had a role to play both with Vocal Essence and Plymouth Church. By the time we get to the end of July, we will have done more than 100 composers. And this day, it's going to be Peter Warlock. Peter Warlock was an unusual man. He actually, uh, his name was Philip Hesseltine, but he preferred to give himself another name. He was fascinated by the occult, and because of that, he decided to name himself Peter Warlock, and that is the name under which all of his music, and there's like 150 songs that Peter Warlock wrote. They're beautiful. He was also a music critic. He would be the kind of music critic that unless you were really super good, you wouldn't want him there because he would trash things if he felt this was not up to his standard. He also, in 1920, uh, became editor of a magazine called The Sackbutt. And uh, he, he didn't live long. He was born in 1894, died in 1930. But among the many beautiful pieces that he wrote was a song for Christmas called Bethlehem Down. Now, what I love about Bethlehem Down, here is a copy of the music as it appeared in the Daily Telegraph on December 24, 1927. This was a gift to the readership of the Daily Telegraph with this song, Bethlehem Down, music of Peter Warlock. There are four verses to it, but I've asked Jenny French if she would sing just the first verse so you get an idea of this beautiful text. When he is king, we will give him the king's gifts, myrrh for its sweetness and gold for a crown. Beautiful robes, said the young girl to Joseph, fair with her firstborn on Bethlehem down. Peter Warlock was also fascinated by Renaissance music, and he edited a great deal of Elizabethan songs. Uh, he did more than 500 of these transcriptions of early music. He also, of course, as we said, wrote for choir, and one of the pieces that we love to sing at Plymouth Church is a piece that he wrote for New Year's Day. It's an anonymous medieval poem, and the text says, Lift up your hearts and be ye glad, in Christ his birth the angel bad. Say each to other, if any be sad, what cheer? Good cheer, good cheer, good cheer. Be merry and glad this good new year. Music of Peter Warlock.
Have a wonderful day.